Well, I was at a radio rally recently and I noticed that one of the test equipment manufacturers has introduced a Zener diode tester and I was quite tempted to buy it. It was about £40 um, but I thought well I don't use that many Zeners and it works out uh, quite a lot per test and when I got home I thought to myself well how difficult is it to test a Zener diode? And if all you need to do is to actually measure the, the breakdown voltage and to, to either check diodes that uh, you've got in stock or perhaps to establish the voltage of something that's unmarked or that's had its marking uh, rubbed off, then all you really need to do is to uh, put a voltage across it and measure the voltage at which it breaks down. So I made this incredibly simple device which is my little homemade Zener diode tester. Now all this is, is a pair of terminals which are connected to a voltage source and a resistor to limit the current through the diode to a safe value. Now I've used a resistor of one and a half kilo ohms in this device. Uh, the power supply which you see here can supply up to 30 volts and so uh, I selected the resistor to limit the maximum current possible to 20 milliamps which should be quite safe for any Zener diode that I'm likely to test. So a very simple device let's see how it works. I've got a diode here which is labelled 5.6 volts so we'll just connect it across the terminals of the tester. And we now turn the voltage source on and the power supply is telling me that it's drawing 3 milliamps. Put the voltage, uh, measure the voltage across the diode and it's 5.74 volts. Uh, this diode is actually um, stated as 5.6 volts, so it's certainly working well, it's very slightly off. But there you have it, uh, a very simple Zener diode tester that can be made for a few pennies and will save you quite a bit of money compared to the commercial device.